Hi, welcome back to the Blind LP of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. We are back in the second free time. And I would just like to say that um, with the help of my bro, um, I figured out how to set skills. I, I don't know. I don't know what was wrong with me in the previous um, trial. I have no idea why, but apparently this is how you do it. Like this. So I, I just need to go to a skill that I've I've set. See that? I mean, a skill that I've um I've gotten and I just uh just set. I don't know which one I've gotten, but yeah. How do you tell which one you've gotten? Hang on, let me see. Set. Okay, I guess the one with in white with the credits in white. I guess. Okay, so you know what? We'll we'll remember this for next time around. Oh, that was so silly. I just spent the whole tri trial without skills. It's ridiculous. So anyway, we are on our second free time. I think I will try to... I will attempt to find hidden monokumas in this um, uh, second free time. Who knows? It, things might be different. We'll take a look. If uh, I can't find any, I'll just, I'll just cut my search out. What are you doing here? That Kokichi, he better not have been serious. You must ju just be frustrated by everything that's happened, I think. Hi, Himiko. I don't wanna. No one's when small victims, maybe Gonta doesn't understand it. It'll be meaningless if we're safe, the back Gonta loses himself. Time to always take a look where people are. Miyu is in the computer room, Kaito is outside, the ghost haunted rooms. Um Himiko is in Angie's lab. We have nobody on this floor. I wonder why. We have Kokichi in the dorm. Why is he in the dorm? Was he in the dorm? Okay. There we have uh, Kibo there. We have um We have Sumugi in the library. Is that all? Is that all our people? Gonta is in his lab, don't know why. Maki is in her lab. Getting ready to stop Gonta, maybe, maybe I don't know. Alright. Okay, are you all ready for this? Are, you, are we ready for our first complete fragments with, surprisingly, Kokichi? Here we go! Ouch, Kaito almost pummeled me to death. Should I hang out with Kokichi for all? That'll be good since you've been threatening me to kill me. If you are oh, bitten half to death, I think uh, I should be fine. It's a lie. Oh duh, I don't plan on dying so soon, you know. When I become the victim, all the culprit will set up lots of creeps. So everyone can have loads of fun. I spent some time convincing Kokichi not to do anything stupid. I hope. Kokichi and I grew a little closer today despite my misgivings. Okay, here's your last gift, Kokichi, your last. Um, um, I think he might like this too actually. Let's see. Ah, oh, Cleopatra's Pearl Cocktail. Um, neither grants immortality, I think. That's right. Mm. I guess this isn't that boring. You have pretty good taste, Shuichi. Well, not as good as mine. I'll surprise you with a gift one of these days, Shuichi. Well, you only have today. Do it. Shuichi. I'm glad you came, Shuichi. Remember, today's your last chance, okay? I see Kokichi is just as cheaper as usual. I don't know when he's being serious and when he's toying with me. Oh, Which is it? Now it's time for the final game. It's these, tada! Uh, Whoa, a knife? What are you? <laughs> don't get so antsy. No, don't worry. It's only for the game. You know what the knife game is, right? No. Uh, um, the knife game? See. Place your palm on the table, fingers apart, with the knife stuck between your fingers. Wait! That's so dangerous! How exciting! This will be the today's challenge. This is fitting for the final game, isn't it? No. But this is really dangerous. What if we, we what if we get hurt? 
What are you talking about, Shu Chi? If you lose, you'll be beyond just injured, you know? You'll die. Kokichi's demeanor has changed. He seems far more serious so that now. Means... I'll make the first move, okay? Kokichi spread his fingers on the table, then lifted the knife. I've never seen Kokichi so serious before. Is this what an ultimate supreme leader looks like? I'm ready. Kinda slow. Okay, you think he's fast? From the tapping sound, he's not that fast. He's so fast if he can do that. Uh. Ouch! Kokichi. Blood oozed from Kokichi's hand. He I sprung to action and Wait. grabbed his wrist. You don't have to keep going. Stop. I'll just stay still. I'll get it. Okay. I found a nearby first aid kit and clumsily tended to Kokichi's cut. And all the while, Kokichi was. <laughs> laughing. Laughing as if he were having the time of his life. Hmm. It's a bit nuts. Not, so, not as nuts as Q, but he's a bit nuts. Okay, I think that's good. What do you think? Thanks. Yeah, it wasn't a deep cut, so that'll do. Thanks for treating my injury, Shuichi. But... You got me. Oh man, I lost. Congrats, Shuichi, you win. Uh, um. He just want us to not die. Ah. But I didn't do it yet. I'm still the winner. Maybe. Well, I miss messed up, so yeah, you win by default. Plus, I already fulfilled my objective, which is to what? Objective? That's to kill you, Shuichi. That's but I'm alive. But I mean, your high heart died with worry, didn't I? Huh? What? Hey! After I said I'd kill you, I was on your mind the whole time, right? Um, okay. Alright. Whatever pleases you. You thought about whether I or not I was serious or why I would say something confusing. Even now, you're concerned about me from the bottom of your heart. <laughs> no, you never, never ever, ever forget. forget me for the rest of your life. Okay. I stole your heart, so now I'm <laughs> satisfied. I don't need to steal your life anymore. I'm. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why? What does that even mean? Why did you say it's that? A lie. Because that was a lie, I never wanted your life to begin with. Of course. And like I told you from the very beginning, I'm a liar. I have nothing to say. Toying with me would be putting it lightly. But you know, a liar wouldn't tell other people they are liars, actually. I don't think there will ever come a day when I truly understand Kukichi. I reach out to him, but he doesn't take my hand. But in his own way, I think that helps me understand him a little. Well, in the end, I still don't know anything about him. Something unlocked, but it's locked. Bond, true bond. Okay. True bond. Right. You've learned a new skill. Kind lie. And yeah, that suits him. I would say that suits him. Kokichi and I parted ways and I returned to my room. Oh, we're doing that again, are we? It's very fleshy. It is very fleshy, I would say. Thank you, Kokishi, for the undergarments. It's nice to have new undergarments rather than the one that's been provided to me. Thank you. There's still some time left. Oh, is it? Oh, I guess. Oh, so Maki Himiko, can I check? Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, so... Oh, here we go. Kokichi's favorite trendy underwear. Being a tease where it can't be seen is what true fashion is all about. Did Chuichi say that or did Kokichi say that? Alright. Okay. Here is the thing. Kokichi or Maki? I, I mean, uh, Himiko or Maki? Himiko or Maki? Let's see. Uh, here we are. Kaito, zero. Dead, dead, alive, full, dead, the zero. Himiko had uh, Maki. Oh, Maki! I'm kind of interested, but I, I, I remember having such a hard time giving her gifts. Tsumugi, 
I bet I have some things for Stumu Gimu. Okay. Oh, Himiko. Okay, let's see what I can give Maki. Let's see, okay? Let's see what I can give Maki. That's not it. Okay, Maki, Maki, Maki. Brush for painting nails. I bet it's for Tsumugi. Oh, something good might happen. Never mind. Uh, spell book. Things for Himiko is a lot, so... Photoshop. Still no idea who would like that. Oh, you know what? Actually, maybe it's Tsumugi. Yeah. It's probably Tsumugi. This is also Tsumugi. But they'll go bad if they aren't eaten right away. Maybe I can give this to Maki. I don't know. She will be so mad at me. Well... Does Kokichi really plan on becoming the Blackened? Maybe you should be more careful about letting him into your research lab. There are lots of poisons in there, so... What should I do? Okay, we'll try. We'll try. That's true. Should we go check your research lab to see if anyone took anything? Also, we can stand watch in case anyone tries. We could, but it would take so much time. Can't we just lock my door? I spent some time with Maki in my lab. Maki and I grew a little closer today. Okay. Maki, I know this is gonna be painful for me. Give you things, but I really have no idea what else to give you, you see. So, either I give you, I don't know what to give you. We have to find out more about you. Ah, oh, please, 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 please. This is something you should give to a child. You shouldn't give this to someone That's my right. age. Well, when we get out of here, I'll give it to the kids. That's why you gave it to me, right? Yeah. Um. Hey, Maki, you're an assassin, correct? What is it? I already said that several times. Detectives really are more skeptical, skeptical than well. other necessary. Well, that's part of my job. Anyway, I was wondering how you did your work. I've never heard of assassins working together, but shouldn't be working alone. Wouldn't organ assassination organizations disband after they become known? Right. That is true. So what? If you want to know my job, then I don't mind talking about it. It won't be a problem. Maki's voice was confident, but she swiftly aver averted her gaze. Hey, have you heard of the Holy Salvation Society? No. No. That's the first I've heard of it. Oh yeah. Of course, a normal person would have no affiliation to any cults. Hmm. A cult? What does this have to do with your assassination store? Did you assassinate the whole cult? I see. Oh. Okay. That's the Earth's assassination organization I belong to. Huh? You belong to a cult? You're a detective. Even though you're a detective, you're pretty slow. It's just a name. It's a new cult. From behind the scenes, it trains assassins. But... That sounds made up. Sure, whatever. It's real. The founder is the boss of the organization and all staff are part of it. The clients ask for consultation and the fee is a donation, that's how it's set up. The other believers don't matter, they are there for the founder. I'm not sure of the details, okay? Hmm. I can't believe it, a cult like that exists in our country. Hmm. Well, it's fine. They disguise it so those things are revealed to the public, of course. Hey. When you hear about a cult, it makes you want to stay awake, right? Well, well yes, it does give off well, that impression. Being shady like that is just a cover-up for illegal things like assassinations. As a society, the cult is pretty normal, and it hasn't caused any trouble yet. I do. But then, I mean, killing people isn't, you know, normal. The boss and the staff actually don't believe in their god. But they haven't been punished for their sins. God really doesn't exist in this world. Her tone was neither demeaning nor cold. She sounded as if she's just accepted that's the way things are. Then... 
Then I assume you are a devotee in this cult. That's wrong. Of course not. It may seem that way since I'm affiliated with the cult, but... Wait, can't you figure that out without thinking? Are you sure you're a detective? That's true, I suppose you couldn't well, be. There are several assassins besides me, but no one is devout. We don't really get along with each other anyway, so I wouldn't know. That's... So, you don't share that kind of information with each other? Of course not. When the time comes, assassins will be cut and disposed of. Her tone hadn't changed. She's just accepted it. What did I say to put her into that state of mind? Okay, we... Uh, Alright, we don't have to choose any anything. Any options for answers. Alright. Good chat, Maki. Good chat. Still a bit dazed by Maki's incredible stories, I return to my room. Night time. Oh, you know Miu is up to something too, isn't she? Where's Mono Funny? Where is she? Where is she? This is an announcement. Uh, this is an official announcement from a. Uh, well, what's this place called again? Hmm? What time is it right now? I I forgot. Actually, have I always been alone? I forgot that too. I can't remember. I feel like I used to have someone very important it to me. I can't remember. I knew it. He's helpless without me. Okay, she's there. Well, Monotaro. What's wrong with him? Did his like in did his insides get corrupted? All right, time to go through training. Kaito and Maki should be in the courtyard. I hope. Oh hey. Ugh. Okay, guess these two are, are out, Jen. You wanna come with us? What's the matter? I recommend that you reach into your room as the nighttime announcement just played. Okay. Yes, after I'm done, I'll head straight yeah. back. Yes, please do. Another murder could occur if you're out of your room at night. Yes. That's right. I don't want to think about the killing game starting again. Kokichi said all those unsettling things earlier. That's right. Well, I tried to talk him out of it during my free time, so... Kaito may have silenced him at the time, but I can't imagine Kokichi being so easily swayed. But Kokichi's never serious. That's, that was probably all of his idea of a joke, right? Hmm. He may have been joking, but he may have been serious, too. It's very difficult to determine the sincerity of his statements. Remember. I, have, I never have any idea what he's thinking. That's what makes him yeah. dangerous. Yeah, even after hanging out with him five times, I still have no idea. Either way, we should not let our guard down. Another murder sh should not occur as long as we all stay vigilant. Yeah. Let's do our best. I might have end up having to hang out with Sungi in the end. Looks like it. Um, what are you doing, Sungi? Shuichi, nothing really. That announcement played when I was going back to my room. Jeez. It would have been fine if they chose to us the time, but why did it have to be so melodramatic? Hmm. I don't know, but it's definitely too that much. Is not funny. I'm not concerned about the moral implications and the Monocap siblings. But then... Please stop! How could I have such an um, inappropriate relationship with each other? No. The monocups are best, right? I don't know if me human morals apply to them. Or actually, I guess they're robots, not bad. That's robophobic. So, you're also a robophobe, Sungi. Hey now! You're the one who brought it up, Kibo. Your persecution complex is a bit over the top. He does have strong beliefs. No, okay, you're, you're both not going back, okay. Can I see who else is up? Okay, we can only see inside. Okay. What does that mean? How about it, Kaito? You wanna ask Himiko to join us? Hmm. Kaito, what's wrong? Do you have to go to the bathroom again? Can you just come clean with us? Nope. It's been like this because of what happened. What happened? What's wrong? Are you not feeling well? No, I'm fine. My stomach just hurts is all. Hey, for today's training, instead of exercise, 
How about the three of us just talk? Huh? What? Talk? About what? Idiot. Nobody decides what they talk before about before they start. Well, let's go find somewhere to sit. Kaito picked the random spot in the courtyard and we all sat down. So what are we gonna talk about? I don't know. Didn't you just say we didn't have to decide that? Come on, man, that was just a joke. Uh, uh right. Then let's talk about Maki. Me? What about me? You know, like general stuff about you. There's a lot of stuff we don't know. For example, what blood type do you like? What? I think that's unnecessary. What blood type do I like? Don't you mean what's my blood type? No. Hmm? Did I say something weird? Well, whatever. <laughs> Kaito, you're kind of bad at this. Then you ask something. What's your question for her, huh? Am I like a guinea pig to you guys? I mean... It might be interesting. Well, I have been meaning to ask. When we first met, you said you were the ultimate child caregiver. Why was that? Oh, that was a, that's a good question. Shuichi, that's way too direct. You can't just cut to the chase like that. I mean, she uh, seems to really? like kids after all. Sorry. All right then, let's play it safe and ask her about... No, no, no let me answer that. I grew up in an orphanage. Okay. Hmm? I don't know anything about my parents. They were gone before I can remember. Maki slowly began to tell us her story. Aww. At Cute. the orphanage where I lived, the older kids had to take care of the younger ones. Because of that, I started looking after the younger ones. I see. So that wasn't a lie then. Yeah, like I see. She seems to not... I mean, she seems to like kids. For some reason, kids like me. But I'm not particularly fond of taking care of them. Maybe that suits you better than being an assassin. Nope. It's not a matter of whether it suits me or not. I never had the right to choose from the start. Huh? The right to choose. <sighs> when I was around 10 years old, these strangers started visiting the orphanage. At first, they seemed like normal, kind men. With smiles on their faces, they watched the kids play. But the men never approached them. Thinking back on it, I'm sure they were scoping out our talents. Huh? They were scouting for assassins, and that's why you were picked. Okay. I didn't want to go, but I heard they would donate a huge sum of money if I did. I remember thinking that I had to go, but that was the beginning of hell. Oh, man. Ever since that day, I trained to become an assassin. I think I had some natural talent to begin with, but I worked incredibly hard as well. If I couldn't keep up as an assassin, the orphanage would no longer receive funding, and then... I wouldn't have a purpose in life anymore. So she did it for the kids. Training was difficult. I vomited every day and cried every night. But after vomiting and crying over and over again, my heart gradually became empty. Eventually, I got used to it. It was the same after my first job. For a while, I couldn't eat or sleep. But after doing this for such a long time, I felt numb. There were times I wondered why I had to kill these strangers. But I eventually stopped thinking about that. I adapted to the lifestyle of killing people, of stealing their lives, and of being a horrible person. Even to this day, I think the same thing after I finish a mission. What is it? What would I have been like if I stayed at the orphanage? I still think about that all the time. Maki sighed deeply after burying her soul. That's all. It wasn't an interesting story to listen to, was it? Uh, okay. Interesting? No, Maki. That was the burden you've been carrying all this. Ah. You're carrying too many burdens for someone so small. You know... Well, I could say the same to Shuichi. Uh, um, really? Listen up. Don't try to shoulder everything on your own. You gotta trust other people. Once you're able to share your burdens with your friends, then you'll be stronger. <laughs> Well, if Maki Roll was able to talk this much, it means she's gotten a bit stronger already. That's true. It might be thanks to the Got training. It. Well, obviously. My training is based on a systematic method. Uh, um... That's kind of fake. 
We spent a long time while talking about whatever came to our minds. Most of it was meaningless conversation, but it might have been the first time I was able to actually have fun and forget its place. To protect my friends, I need, I need to reveal the truth of this academy. I need to face the truth and reveal it to the world. I have to. To keep my friends alive. Oh, death flag. Okay, Kurchichi. Hi, hello! He's half his white house whiter than freshly made rides. His black house blacker than the darkest night. Did you call for me? It's mana 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 kuma. Hmm. You actually came? Hmm, so I guess I'm allowed to do this, huh? <laughs> Ew. Ew. Is it really okay for me to talk to you in private like this? Yeah. Technically, it's not a real violation. Besides, I can pass up an opportunity to make the killing game more exciting. Right? I was thinking the same thing. This fun and vicious killing game is the only thing on my mind. And another thing. With that said, you're not even gonna try and use that movie to cart. You really don't get it. You don't get it. A crazy motive like this should be used in a more dramatic way, no? That's what I've been thinking, so I tried to come up, tried coming up with it, ways to use well, it. You know. And I finally came up with an idea. So this is my proposal. A certain someone is planning something interesting, so if we use the melody there... Are you talking about Mew? <laughs> then I think it would really spice up the game. So are you in? Really, you're an evil. Mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, I am the ultimate supreme leader, you know. Let's have more fun. I will drag this world into the pits of terror using my villainous power to commit evil. That's the first time I've seen this sprite, and it's really ugly. You can trust a dishonest man to be dishonest. It's the honest ones you wanna watch out for. Cause you never, you, cause you can never predict when they're gonna do something incredibly stupid. I don't know what's going on with this picture. It's honestly easier to go through with life without send, telling a single lie, which means honest people are just lazy jerks who'd rather coast your life. By the way, the recent trend of encouraging honesty is actually a lie. You see, it's better for liars if there are more honest people in the, in the world to deceive. They've been lying about their trends so there can be more stupid honest people. But that might be a lie too. <laughs> Good to know. Do we get to find out what Mew is up to? Oh, now there's nobody. Actually, oh, okay. Okay, she's here. This is an official announcement from the Ultimate Academy. It is now 8 a.m. Oh, where did he run off to? Probably with some other woman, I bet. But that's fine. As long as he's happy, I'm fine with that. Don't worry. Maybe not today, but someday I'm gonna be happy too. Monotaro. What's the matter? Mana funny. I finally remember. I need you, Mana funny. Bye. Too convenient, huh? I know I'll only hurt you more by saying stuff like that. <laughs> I'm sorry for everything. Goodbye. Hey. Wait, you silly man. Yeah. My goodness, your body is coming apart. You really can't do anything on your own. Alright, come here, I'll see you back up. Thank you, Mana Funny. Thank you. What? Why are you crying? That's so not like you. The end? Okay, good. Yeah. What kind of ending was that? And that was way too long for an announcement. I, no. It's the morning drama. Well. 
I need to go to the dining hall. Who is around? Who is around? Nobody's around. Let's get out. Who is around? Kaito is around. Gonta is around. Okay, let's see. Kaito, which side are you on? You're here. Kaito, you really need um. to take care of your health. Good morning, Kaito. Hey, bro. Perfect timing. Can I get your opinion on something? For what? I mean... It's about our training. Like I said before, my training is based on a systematic method. But I feel like something's uh, missing. Um... You do? We've only done sit-ups and push-ups so right. far. Even if I don't need it myself in order for you two to grow, I feel like we should add something like martial arts or some, th some kind of mental training. Uh. Not as you mention it, I do have a practice sword. Oh, oh, I have a sword. Yes, I have. Good idea. Practicing with those will be great. Be a great training exercise. All right, let's not wait till night. We are gonna do this special training as soon as possible. Okay. Now. All right, I got it. It's decided. I'll bring Maki roll. So let's meet at the usual place. But first, breakfast. I'll see you there. Okay. So after breakfast, we'll meet him. But we also have... We have... Gonta. What is he doing there? Okay, Gonta, what are you doing here? Hey! Come out! Oh, he's still finding the bug. bugs. Come talk to Gonta. Gonta, what's wrong? What ha Are you looking for someone? Oh. Good morning, Shuji. Gonta not looking for person, Gonta looking for tiny bug. Ah yes, I was wondering about that. Have you found any? Gonta no can find him. Gonta has seen him lots of times, so Gonta pretty sure it's not a mistake. Hmm, I but... see. But Gonta happy Shuichi love bug so much. Huh? Why do you get that idea? Where? Huh? Um, I don't like bugs that much. Huh? You hate bugs, Shuichi? Wait! No, no, I love them. Gonta, I said that before, right? Right. Yeah, you're a good person, so of course you like bugs. Allow Gonta. All right, Gonta go find tiny bug for Shuichi, no matter what it takes. Look forward to it. It's no use. I still get the chills thinking about the insect meat and greet. Let's get back here. Oh, it says Kaito is still around, but I guess not. Hey. Anyone here? Let's see. Himiko. And that's it, okay. I bet we're gonna find out what Miu is up to. Where are you? Himiko? Himiko? No? Okay, maybe the other side. Okay. Good morning, Himiko. Good morning, Himiko. It's you, Shuichi. This morning was very unfortunate. Huh? Did something happen? Hmm. What are you saying? The Monoka Ops drama ended. Yeah, I watch it too. I watch it every morning. Monotaro awakened to love. It looked like a new development, but then it was over the next day. So you were really looking forward to that, huh? Okay. I thought maybe it was going to turn out that Monofini had a baby in, in her stomach. How about that? And it'd, be, it'd actually be the child of one of the dead monocots. Oh. Uh -huh. Those are the kinds of melodramatic twists and turns I expected. But... I'm not sure it, it would be much fun watching a melodrama like that. Yeah? No, no, this is typical daytime soap opera stuff. Next year, burn the roast and bang, zoom. What is she talking about? You're right. Oh, it was already over, that's it. That's right. Throwing away my regrets and moving forward. That's my new way of life. Okay. See you in the dining hall. Himiko, do you know a lot about sober press? Maybe. Maybe she watches them. Okay, let's see what's me up to. 
fish is not here. Where are Mew and Kokichi? Jeez. I understand why Kokichi is gone, but where's Mew? She's probably still messing with that computer on the fourth floor. That's right. Or she might be in her lab working on another invention. I saw many half-built machines in her lab when she performed maintenance on me. Mm. Well, messing with machines and computers is all about all she's good for. What could she be up to? Huh? Gonta, what's wrong? Still cannot find the bug? Um... Gonta still thinking since yesterday. How can Gonta be useful? What? But Gonta no can think of anything. So frustrating. Come on, man. Okay, but you don't need to make such a scary face. Besides, it's not just you. That's something we all got to think about. That's right. We all should be thinking about what we can do to survive. Mm. Use your self-destruct system to save us. This is how robots make themselves useful. Hey! Even though that is true, at least hesitate before you blurt out something like that. But you admit it's true, huh? So you have a self-destruct system around you? In you? I can think about it too. If I come up with a good idea, I'll tell you guys. Right. Not that it's settled. That's it. If you don't eat well, you can't think well. We finished eating breakfast and then return to our rooms. We needed to get our thoughts together, but I have a promise to with Kaito. Uh, we were completely unaware that an unspeakable malice was brewing. I mean, with Miu and Kokichi, yeah. That's bound to happen. Something is bound to happen. Let's go. I have training with Kaito now. He's at the usual pl place. I'll meet him in the courtyard. Got it. Oh, there you are, bro. Well, I was surprised when you mentioned a special kind of training. <laughs> well, you brought the thing we need for a new training, right? What? New training? Shuichi. Pass it here. Okay. Here, but is it usable? Hmm. Is this a practice sword? Why would you have something like this? Huh? Why are you making such a disgusted face, Maki Ro? Oh, that's right. Maki does not use a sword. So, you didn't tell Kaito yet. When I first started working, I botched the mission with a katana. Since then, I decided not to use swords. I see. I see. Well... Don't make that face. I know you didn't mean any harm by it. But you know... But it's my, no, it's my fault for making you remember something that makes you feel bad. Oh, is it a good time to practice it now? Alright, tell us about it now. I'll listen to all of it. What? Listen up. It's difficult to talk to people about your failures, but get it. But didn't I tell you? Being able to share your burdens with others, that's how you get stronger. Don't hold on to your past forever. You gotta confront it to move on. And I'm gonna help you with that. I don't understand. What are you saying? You're ridiculous. Anyway, that failure doesn't bother me anymore. Okay, sure. But I don't mind talking about it. Just be warned, it's a boring story. Before, she would have just told me to mind my own business. Maki has changed a lot since then. Well, when planning an assassination, you need to get a detailed information first. You need to know the target, their schedule, movements, friends and acquaintances. For this particular target, he normally worked late into the night. But when I looked further into his schedule, I found out he was into some nerdy hob hobbies. Nerdy hobbies? You mean like Sumugi is? Right. Yes, just like her. He especially liked cosplay. Huh? Cosplay? Never in a million years would I imagine hearing cosplay from Aki's mouth. Told you. So while I observed my target's private life, I thought of a good plan to get close to him while concealing my weapon. Uh, um, How? Okay. A prop carrying case. Huh? What's that? How is it different from a normal carrying case? Well, Sumugi would know. It's a specially made carrying case for cosplay props. I think I have that in my inventory. I think. It can accommodate large props or was it one of the prizes? I can't remember. So it's convenient to carry around. So I placed the katana into that carrying case and made my move. Oh, annoying. But then the people around thought I was a cosplayer and something odd huh? happened. What happened? <sighs> On that day, they were holding a cosplay event in the same hall the target had gone to. Unfortunately, I had the same height and hairstyle as a popular character who also carried a katana. Oh man. They thought I was cosplaying that character. Oh well. So I got dragged into a hall by a group of excited people with expensive cameras. They almost saw the weapons I had in the case. If they had, they would have found out my katana was actually real. Sounds like a close call. 
They wouldn't know. I was wondering what this serious favorite failure of yours was going to be. Yeah, honestly, it was much cuter than I was expecting. Don't laugh. For me, it was very serious. That's right. I was branded as a failure because of something so stupid. If they didn't didn't donate to the orphanage anymore, then it would have been the end. Ah. You're right. My bad. Yeah, you're right. That's not funny. I'm really sorry for laughing. I'm sorry. Me too. Sorry for laughing, Maki. Jeez. You don't need to apologize. I'm not mad. Maki turned her head to the side with a pout. That expression on her face opening up to us with her stories. I never would, could have imagined this. My impression of her has changed that again. There's so much I don't know about Maki and Kaito. I hope Maki's right. We can learn more about each other after we get out. No, we will become friends. We will definitely get out of here. After a bout of training with the sword, I return to my room. What to do? What can I do? The only thing I'm good at is solving mysteries but I can figure out this academy. I don't have many clues but that's no excuse. Free time. And we will continue free time in the next episode. So until then, thank you for watching and goodbye.